This is a demonstration of a single friction wheel shooter design. The purpose of this design is to launch flat EVA discs using a single shooter rather than a dual shooter setup. With a dual shooter, it is more difficult to create a spin, also known as angular momentum. With the design, we can consistently launch discs with a clockwise rotation. When designing a shooter, consistency is the key. The three main factors I focused on are the rotation speed of the friction wheel, the compression between the friction wheel and the second contact surface, and the rigidity of the entire structure. To achieve consistent launching, the contact between the disc and the friction wheel must be reliable. A rigid structure is crucial. One way to help maintain the consistency is by adding a secondary free spinning wheel. This acts like a guide, funneling the disc toward the launch point. It forces the disc to one side of the rail, reducing the gaps and improving the accuracy before the disc exits the shooter. One of the strengths of this shooter is the rotational effect. When launched, the disc deviates approximately 15 degrees to the robot's direction. The trajectory can actually confuse the opponents that's trying to block the shot. Another benefit is the disc behavior upon hitting the backboard, also known as the scoring furnace. The rotational spin helps the disc bounce to the right, which reduces the chance of bouncing it back out of the scoring zone. A known weakness of this design is the structural mounting. The shooter is mounted to both of the elevator and the uptake mechanism, which doesn't provide enough rigidity for the entire robot. To improve this, we can simplify and reinforce the overall design. We can also custom 3D print mounting components to better stabilize the structure. In brief testing with 100 discs, the shooter achieved an average grouping within 10 cm diameter from a 3 meter distance, resulting in 8.5 out of 10 discs landing successfully inside the scoring zone. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on my YouTube channel. You can also visit my website for more in-depth information on these designs. Thank you for watching.